Hey, welcome back. We're the Three, Three Musketeers. Musketeers. Do you want to make your next trip more comfortable and affordable? If yes, you've come to the right place. We're going to share 12 travel hats that's going to save you money, time, and stress on your next adventure. But that's not all. We've invited a few special guests for you in this video. Hi everyone! We're sharing dancers with over 12 years of experience under our belts. As performers, we traveled all over the globe, accumulating many travel hacks along the way. So get ready to learn from the experts and learn some insider secrets. If you learned something new, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. My number one final central hack is to check your belongings every time you leave every single location. iPhone, wallet, passport. You can't lose these, so you gotta check them before you leave a place. Always bring your own water bottle into the airport because if you try to purchase the water bottles in the airport, it's really expensive and you always have to keep hydrated. And they have these things at the airport where you can just fill your cup up with nice fresh water. I'm telling you, this is a game changer, guys. Number one hack is always keep wipes on you for emergency spills or if you're eating like Shake Shack or like, you know, food from the airport. And you can clean your boots when you use the bathroom in the airplane. Very important. You have to bring a neck pillow when you're on the plane, especially for like a 15 hour flight. This is gonna save your neck. I got a clip here too. Very, very comfortable. I also have one. It's inflatable. It's also a good idea to get one that can pack up into a small form factor. First one for me are pouches. These are great for organization and also they come in different sizes. And I have this one that's waterproof so it's really good if you like spill something you can just wash it right off my tip is bring your own snack okay sometimes you'll be craving for snacks but in the airport the snack is so expensive and there are not that many varieties so it feels like i'm getting ripped up so bring your own snacks and you won't regret and if you have a friend who brings snacks steal some of his because it's really good so this is actually pretty good recommend this is more of an extra travel hack. So you're in the country elsewhere and you need to bring some chips back but you don't have enough space. Here's what you can do. Poke a hole in the chip bag so you can get all the air out, just like tiny hole. And then you just squeeze it out slowly. Okay, it's kind of taking a while, but yes, it's a tiny hole. Allows you to get all the extra air out of the chip bag. And another travel hack included, if you don't have a safety pin, you can always use a clean earring to poke a hole in the bag. So after you have de-puffed your bag completely, like so, you roll your chip bag, you roll the packaging up, and you secure with elastic. And I swear your chips do not go stale. This has been tried and tested. This is my hack, and let me tell you, this is a huge game changer. I just started getting into this uh, last year. Right now, I'm outside the airport lounge, and what's so good about this is if you ever have a layover or you're just in the airport for a long time, you can actually come in these, and they have places where you can sit. There's Wi-Fi, there's amenities, there's food, there's everything. So instead of spending a lot of money buying food outside, it's free here. So they usually offer this for their members, but you can pay a small fee and get in here. My number two hack is I like to lock my luggage and also my duffel sometimes when I feel like it's like not really safe because I have my wallet, it's important items in here. So when you're not holding your important items, you can put a lock on, it's very easy. Another tip is buy or bring a book. Because nowadays you can read anything you want with a smartphone, but it cannot replace the feeling that paper books give. And also some of the places don't have a free Wi-Fi. So why don't you just grab a book and enrich your mind and relax at the same time. And my second one is my Dyson hair dryer. This one's really good because I can take it around with me and also I just keep it in my suitcase and whenever like my roommate needs it, I can also borrow it for them. And also, sometimes at the hotels, they don't provide hair dryers and that's really bothersome for me, so I like to bring my own. You should also pack light and avoid checking in your luggage. This way, you don't have to wait in line when you're checking in and when you get to your destination, you can head straight out to the airport and you don't have to be back there grabbing your luggage. And you don't have to worry about lost or delayed baggages. And you can avoid being like this guy, carrying all this stuff in the airport. How are you surviving? <laughs> Honestly, this is not all my stuff. 
one shot, one shot. I'm getting better for recording. Ready? One shot.